on the Prelude Project, this other shop or whoever it was, we didn't get a name or we didn't get anything from the customer. They started this saying that they were going to help him do a amazing turbo build to make a lot of power. This other shop then later decided when COVID hit that that was an excuse to get out of it. And as you see, they didn't really do anything. Yeah. So essentially, literally all they did was tear this thing down to like almost every last nut and bolt off the actual motor transmission and drivetrain. And they threw all the hardware and stuff all over the engine bay. Half of it probably got lost on the tow truck on its way over here. There's stuff like this just chilling in the engine bay, brackets, um, random lines and hoses and clamps and things that were removed improperly or just not bagged and tagged so that we had any idea of where they go. The car came stuffed full of all these like super high dollar nice parts um, to, in theory, make something, you know, <laughs> special, dope, yeah. right? But um, I don't think that the place that he brought it to really had what it took to kind of get it done. And seems just, like we get a lot of those projects. Yeah, I think they wound in, wound up kind of in over their head, essentially. Goals on this thing are customer wants around six to seven hundred horsepower. Um, he's talking full color change, engine bay, exterior, and everything. I don't know if we're going to be doing that just yet, um, but we're at least going to have to spray the engine bay while the motor's out. He's not looking for a 100% show car, but he's looking for a car that looks good, the engine bay looks good, and he can go do stupid stuff with it at a drag strip or somewhere. So at this point, essentially, we're gonna start out by just tearing through these boxes and seeing what all is here, and if there's anything right off the bat that we notice that's missing. Or wrong. And, or, or wrong. <laughs> and kind of come up with a game plan on how to get this thing started because picking up in the middle of someone else's build is probably the most difficult way to get started on anything. Yeah. All right, first box. Ruin the shot. <laughs> so first box is a turbo manifold, downpipe, and dump tube for the wastegate. Is there anything else in here? Uh, so you said manifold? Yeah. Dump. Uh, dump tube, downpipe, packing peanuts. Um, okay, there's the V-band for the downpipe. Those are two options. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> you would. You would. Um, I think there's two. That's what you want. No, no, never mind. Oh. Too far, downpipe. It is, but that dump tube goes in here, so yeah, it's I mounted said it was into. A it. Free circuit or a yeah, I don't remember what that's called. It's not a dump to atmosphere. I know that. <laughs> Next box. So, do you think a column of what we have, and then things that we have that are wrong? Things that we have that are questionable. So this is a Mishimoto oil cooler setup. I don't know if this is a universal or if this is meant for a prelude. Random fittings, hoses. Okay, sandwich plate, more random fittings. And then this is the oil cooler, I'm guessing. How you open. So chances are that since it included this sandwich plate, it's at least a engine specific kit, maybe not engine and chassis yeah, specific. Yeah, I'm wondering if this has any, um, the hell are they called? Brackets, like it's uh, meant to go somewhere nicely, or if we have to make our own. No brackets, from what I see. So this is a K-Tune, 
or KS tuned balance shaft elite kit. I'm not even going to open these. Yeah. Well, what is it? Head bolts and main bolts is what they were? Yeah. It's a head stud and main stud. Yeah, but we already were like, yeah. well, the block is together, so yeah, I don't so know what the main studs theory, are going to do. The main stud kit, this is just a duplicate. Uh, can you write kit. down this part number so we can see what it is? Parts that are questions. Yes. And this is an H series spring base kit. So these are, okay, Skunk 2 Keepers. Oh, this is a B series valve spring set. Titanium retainers, titanium cam gears. Is there two in here? Ooh, damn. Yep, there's both of them. Nice. And I will say that weighs nothing. This is the real goodies. This is the Cams. things that people want to see, bro. Look at it. Give me the whole setup there. And then I wonder what stage cams these are. I think he said two. Did he say if they were? Oh, they are pro oh, series. Yeah, yeah so they're going to be very aggressive. Yeah. Oh, of course they're stuck in here. Uh, All right, well, you don't get to see that. Yeah, you don't get to see the cams. Sorry, bud. <laughs> um, Muffler? HKS, bro. You know, it's funny. This thing looks huge, but on that car, it's going to look tiny. Yeah. So this is the exhaust housing. Looks a little bit small, doesn't it? For 700? Yeah. The parts we have that are questionable. Sorry, bud. No way is it going to make 700? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of small for that. I'm guessing this is a GT28, considering we did a 30R on a Civic a couple weeks ago, and it was bigger than this. That's a big ticket item to uh, mess up on. Yeah, I wonder if whatever shop he took it to before recommended him this one. It would be a super responsive fun turbo. Yeah, but power goals would not happen. No. Honestly, if I was going to build one, I'd probably stick with this size turbo. Yeah, but what's that make? 400? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be real fun for being stupid on the street, but... Not if you want to be real stupid. <laughs> so these say mainly correct connecting rods, which I hope are in that block already. Doesn't sound like they're in there. Oh, what's that? Is that another one? Another balance shaft delete. So we have two balance shafts. We're going to delete so many balance shafts. They tried, man. They tried, okay? to at least bag some of the hardware. Well, I mean, you would just put the flywheel bolts with the crank pulley. I mean, or no, this is the balance shaft pulley. Yeah, they're, they're not on the opposite sides of the engine. Um, okay, so this is an OBD2 to OBD1. Uh, this is Honda cables. And I'm guessing these are adapters for like boost controller or something like that. And then the uh, jumper harness for the ECU. These are going straight into the garbage can. Well, I mean, the, the manly ones didn't have it in there, so we can only hope that they don't actually have innovative mounts in it. And it does, so we don't care about this. Things that are questionable. Innovative mounts. <laughs> Just solve that problem real quick. <laughs> Literally, I went to Hasport on Monday and they had had five calls that morning this week about innovative mounts not fitting right. Why they're calling Hasport, I don't know, but apparently innovative wouldn't answer. So is this a tile blow off valve? Ooh. 44? Looks like a 44. Yeah, and that would make this a wastegate? It would. Ooh, with multiple screens. He definitely uh, got some big ticket items. Yeah? All right, questions. Coil pack retrofit? Spark plug wires. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Racer's Edge 255 water this pump or a fuel pump? Coil packs. Oh. I think these are. Brand new That's OEM? a coil pack, Brand yeah. Brand new OEM coil pack. Perfect. Nice. 
Um, we'll have to see if I, I thought he said something about he had a uh, Walboro and not whatever that is. All right, questionable uh, NGK spark wire, spark wires. Yeah. What do we got here? Oh, it's a boost controller, Mac valve. Oh, Denzos. Nice. I like it. I like it. The one thing I want to check though is I'm, I I want to know his heat range. Is this a boost controller? Yeah. Uh, questionable on the spark plugs because if you got the stock heat range, it's not going to be good for 700 horsepower. Here is the S300. Done by our Arizonan low cash racing. Cool. Coil plate kit. Okay, so this is to mount the coils on. Okay. So if you remember from the last video, we found this with a uh, exhaust manifold resting on the cams, which at least I can pretty much throw this entire piece away. How do uh, the uh, journals look on there? Yeah, I mean, we're going to take this to a machine shop so that they can yeah. give us the A-OK -okay and we'll probably bring them the springs and stuff. That way all that can be done. Oh, God. What the? Someone was a Wait, real... isn't this the Hondata? But it melted. Did this head overheat? Or did the engine overheat? Yeah. It looks like it. Yeah. So, yeah, it definitely needs to go to a machine shop. I wonder if that's why he decided to do this build. How hot did it get? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. And you melted your Honda intake manifold gasket. Oh yeah. This thing, this thing blew a head gasket and had a lot of rust. Well, the block's already done. So. Yep. So we'll just see if the head get, or the head can be saved. How? I mean, might not be that bad, but. Also, ch well, we'll have to ask him, put a question mark on there if he wants to do valves. Because yeah. he spent the titanium stuff well. elsewhere, so. Okay, title that not questions, but conversations with customer. God, this is... I have never seen one melt this bad. I think this might be an exhaust kit. Welcome to your fortress. Yeah. Wild guess, just based on yeah. I don't want to take yeah, all that. Three out. inch, three inch piping or three and a half inch piping. It looks like three. So this is all the nonsense that they just threw into a random box. Okay, well. From the engine with the two balance shafts, windage tray, rear main seal, pickup pick tube. tube. Question then, uh, why we, do we have we need this? A new oil pump. Well, does the new? We'll we'll, we'll have to take the engine out because did Map put on an oil pump and yeah. do the whole yeah. delete kit? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what you want, right? To throw all the the cast iron uh, motor mount brackets and stuff on top of all the cam journals yeah the cam caps and yeah all of that oh boy this is a map built sleeve h23 block with forged internals and yeah it does not have an oil pump I want to see, I want to get that out of that box. Well, yeah, I want to see I the bottom of it. I don't want to at the same time. No, I feel you there. It's not light. Uh, okay, oil pump, water pump. Uh, timing belt set. Timing belt set. Okay, tracing. Let's see if they're actually ARP in this. Oh, yeah. Everything's ARP, good. I want to take compressed air and blow the dirt out of these cylinders and tape the deck. Yeah, since it wasn't done. I don't done. know why they wouldn't have done that. So basically, we compiled a list of all the things that we have that are probably going to be usable. 
And then we have a short list of stuff that he bought that unfortunately is probably not gonna be usable. Yep. Uh, the big ticket one being the turbo, which really sucks. And uh, probably won't let him use the mount kit. So the second page is literally just anything we could think of off the top of our head that just going through there was like obviously missing and things that are definitely gonna have to get addressed that they obviously didn't even think about like the brakes and suspension and stuff because it's not gonna make 700 horsepower on the factory 30 year old bushings. dry rotted bushings and like or it will for five minutes yeah they didn't uh get any aftermarket axles the transmission is still stock which isn't going to hold 700 horsepower for very long or at all potentially uh, the There's, fuel injectors are stock which yeah you know, same thing yeah I'd probably get id 1000s at least um clutch and flywheels another big ticket item that they didn't buy a clutch or flywheel for it so oh yeah the intake manifold's missing and yeah i wonder if the bolts are MIA as well. That's gonna be fun. But if he's going full show car, then maybe we'll get like the, well not full show car. But if we were going full show car, we get titanium bolts. Yeah, but we get the stud kits with like the cool. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah. Like 12 point nuts. I mean, he might want to go that way. We'll have to ask him. I, just... could, I could see him go on that route. Cause it, they're not stupid expensive and it would just be those little touches in the engine bay that are gonna kind of set it apart. There is one thing I see that's missing. Oh. Nitrate. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, man, you could just max out that turbo at 400 and then spray it with a 250 shot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the engine can probably take a 250 shot, no problem. Yeah. So he's not going to get it until after it's tuned. Broken uh, in. We've done every shakedown possible. It's been put under full load multiple times in like 110 degree weather. It's been ran with the AC on. Uh, whole nine yards. I want to make sure that when he gets this car back, every last nut and bolt and everything is addressed and like my white car. Yep. Essentially everything that I did to that, except this one's going to have AC and power steering and cruise and all the amenities too. So. And be able to sit in traffic without a problem. Yes. Uh, so if you haven't gotten this from watching the last two or the last episode and this one, we're probably going to have this one for a long time, so buckle up, Buttercup. You're stuck watching this for a little bit. Yeah. This is going to be a huge build project. Uh, this is going to take a very long time, probably months. So this isn't getting... Oh my god, if yeah. I, yeah if I, I know for a fact I'm going to paint the engine bay because we're going to be tearing everything out. So like, it only makes sense that I just do it in-house, scuff down the bay and shoot it real quick but when it comes to the outside of the car i don't know maybe i'll send it off maybe we'll do it here we'll see if he actually he used to work at a paint and body shop so he might be willing to actually spend the money to get Have it done it nice. nicely yeah but, but don't worry also uh this isn't going to be the only car we're doing stuff on we yeah. still have the si we still have the white miata uh my nc um and then we have some other cars coming by.